Hi, I'm a member of the Baby Lock Serger Yahoo group, and several of the posts uh, asked if anyone had done the blanket stitch on the serger. Uh, I had not tried that with my Evolution, so I wanted to give it a try. So I wanted to share these tips with you and show you how easy it really is um, to do. I did use my inspiration guide. This is the Edge Finishes blanket stitch uh, insert that came in the inspirational guide. You'll notice that it used fleece uh, in this particular sample. I'll show you in just a minute that it does work great on fleece, although I used flannel. I also refer to my um, threading guide. I use this for everything just to double check. Now, I think originally on the project that I made uh, for my friend, I used the two thread flat lock wide. However, in doing what I'm going to show you, I actually did use the two thread blanket stitch on our threading guide. So there are a little bit of differences uh, in the, the setup for it. But the project that I originally did uh, was on two uh, layers of flannel. I'm using a 12 weight blendable cotton thread Originally, I used the regular serger foot, and I thought it did pretty good, um, but today I'm going to be using the new curved foot uh, that also fits on the Evolution, um, and I think you'll see that it does work quite well. Just to show you also the samples here that I just kind of ran to see how they uh, worked, this is the fleece, and you can see that it's a very nice little stitch, and I just used two, two layers to run a sample. I always like to document what I'm doing and the reference. My um, guide pages are in a plastic sleeve so I'll just drop these down in there so that I can refer to these later on. So again this was just another sample. I am also using Many of you may have read Pam Mashey's explanation about needles. I am using the Oregon ELX 705 needles. I'm using a 9014 for this project, which seems to be uh, working quite well. For the setup, I just want to point out a couple of things. Again, I'm going by the settings that came with my machine. I'm using the left overlock needle. The 12-weight um, cotton thread is threaded through the upper looper, but when you get here, you pull it out and then thread it into the needle. So it's a little bit different threading on the blanket stitch. I'm using a regular maxi lock thread uh, in the lower looper. The um, and I always have trouble remembering what this thing is called, the subsidiary looper. This is actually over to the left instead of the right like most of the things that I do are. So again, that's on our guide. I'm using an overlock uh, stitch and we're on the stitch selector uh, A over here. So we're all set up and ready to go. Um, I've just cut out a small sample of two layers of flannel. Um, one, another little tip, I use this, I know we can use a can or a lid or something to cut these corners, but this is a very handy little tool, I think. I, it's called Round the Corner, and it's a June Taylor template. I like it because you can put the straight edges uh, right on your project, and then you've got a template just to cut off with your rotary cutter so it makes so that each of your four curves are all the same so again just a small but a handy little tool so we're ready to go um, I have my blade um, so it'll cut and I'm going to start over here kind of um, kind of in the middle of the project not on the curve the key, one of the keys to this is to also use a piece of water-soluble stabilizer. You want to be able to cut off just a piece of this, so I've just cut some strips. We're going to put that here in the top. And again, I'm using the curved foot, which I did not use on my original project because I didn't have it yet. So again, I'm just cutting off a little bit, um, some places more than others, so just trim off your edge. And I do like this foot. I think it does make it much easier. You can do it with the regular foot. I found that I just went a little bit slower than what I'm doing right here. So most of us that surge, fast is good. So, again, I'm just going around these curves with this new foot. 
we're just taking a little bit off but again I'm using one layer here of water soluble stabilizer the clear kind this kind pulls apart better you don't want to use your um, the cloth type and you'll see why here in just a minute so again now when I get around to where I have started I'm just as my cutter cuts that stitch I'm going to lock my blade and then do several stitches over what I had stitched previously again just to kind of lock off that area all right so let's see what we've got so here's our little blanket and what we're going to do now is just pull so that we can bring up our decorative thread to the top of our blanket and again my little sample can you see how this is just pulling this thread up to the top so just go all the way around and again this is what I did on the blanket so you want to sew on the right side uh, of your project little blanket that I made I just programmed in her name and stitched that uh, on the different layers the two layers before I started this part that way it is reversible so again I'm just all the way around this I'm pulling the water soluble to bring up that decorative thread once we've done that then you can see now how easy it is to pull off your water soluble and as you can imagine pulling you couldn't do this using the cloth um, water soluble you could use that I guess and you know trim it away but that's a little bit more time consuming and so now what we're going to do is just trim where we've already stitched over here you do want to be sure that you've gone all the way around to where you started okay so this is what our 12 weight cotton blendable thread will look like on our project I'll just toss this in the washer I will wash this I will wash this before I give it to um, my friend with a note and I think moms appreciate this that the project has already been washed and is ready to use. So it's been a fun little project. I hope this helps you try this out on either uh, flannel or fleece. Um, it's, it's a great simple little project when you have the right kinds of tools. Thanks for watching. This is our first YouTube video.